Hello and welcome to this video for uh, putting a international keyboard on your computer and having it appear in the in the taskbar. Uh, many times uh, if you're trying to write a letter in another language or an email in another language it would be nice to be able to use the symbols and accent marks that go with that language. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to put a um, international keyboard on your taskbar. What we're going to do is we're going to use the control panel and to do that we're going to go down here to the lower left to the start menu. We're going to click that once and then on the right hand side of what comes up here we're going to select now it'll look different on your computer I'm sure but you'll have a selection called control panel and I want you to click that right now with the left mouse button and then the control panel applet comes up and what we want to are concerned with is right in here it's called clock language and region and especially what we want to do is change keyboards or other input methods so we're going to click on that link right there with left mouse button one time and this dialog comes up and you can see that there's a button on it to change keyboards that's what we want to do so let's click it one time with the left mouse button and you can see that we have an English United States keyboard and it shows that it's down here so we're going to select this area we're going to select this one time to highlight it and then over on the right here with these buttons we're going to click the add button now another dialog comes up with a whole list of different kinds of languages that you could put on your computer but in our case we want English so we're going to go down here till we find English Boy, there's all kinds of English, Australia, Baileys, Canadian, Caribbean. Well, we want United States. And if it's not open already, you can click this little icon right here, which is a, uh, if it was a just like that, you would click that little plus sign and it would open it up. And what we want is this United States International keyboard. So we're going to put a check mark in this little box here by clicking it one time with the left mouse button and there's a check mark and then we're going to go up here to the OK button and click it one time with the left left mouse button and now you can see that we have listed in our list a US keyboard and a US United States International keyboard oh, so that looks pretty good to us so we're going to say apply that rather than just say OK and I'll show you why in a second now we want it to appear in the taskbar so we're going to go over here to this tab up here at the top called language bar and we want to select that it's going to be docked in the taskbar right there okay and we're going to say apply that also now you notice down here on your taskbar when I did that this little icon of a keyboard came up and you see that it currently shows you mouse over it, it shows that it's a US keyboard well, we'll show you what happens with that in a little bit. Okay, now we're all done, so we're going to click the OK button here. And then once more, we're going to click the OK button here. And then we're going to close the control panel by clicking this button in the upper right corner one time with the left mouse button. Okay, now we've added a international keyboard to our computer. Now let's see if it works. Uh, well, I'm going to bring up a one of the notepad things that I've written out and it shows you some special characters you can use with your keyboard. I'm just going to double click on this. Now right away when I brought that up you see that the icon for the keyboard is up here now. Alright now if I click on that icon with, with the left mouse button and it shows I'm using the US keyboard. Well I can change it now to the US United States International Keyboard by clicking right here with the left mouse button. I'm going to click one time. Okay, now I should have a international keyboard. And this little uh, notepad uh, document that I have, it, it has a list of the different characters you can get with the international keyboard and how you get them. Okay, now what you're going to do is it says here to create a A with an accent mark, E with an accent mark, an I with an accent, and so on. You would type the single quote key 
and then type the desired letter. So let's see if that works. Let's go down here a couple of lines and we're going to type uh, uh, the single quote, nothing happened, and then the E. And look at there, we have an E with an accent mark over it. Okay. Uh, let's go to another line. Uh, we should try, try the single quote and we'll type an O. And there again, we've had an O with an accent mark over it. Now also in the instructions here, you'll notice that it says to create um, the N with a, with a well I call it a, 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 a cedilla over it. You would type the cedilla and then the N. And so you do a, a shift um, and then a cedilla and then an N and there you go, you have it. So that's how you use it, and now you have an international keyboard. And if you want to switch back to the U.S. keyboard, you just go down here to this little icon, click on it, and click U.S. And now if you click this, if you uh, type a single quote key, you can see the single quote key comes up like it used to. So you can switch back and forth between the international keyboard and the U.S. standard keyboard. There you have it. You now have an international keyboard on your desktop, and you can use it anytime you want to write a letter in a different language. Thanks for watching.